I was 14 years old, I was on a religious journey uh, to figure out what religion I wanted to be. Grew up in a Muslim household, and I went to a lot of churches, I went to a lot of different places of worship, just kind of asking, challenging um, preachers, challenging uh, rabbis. Um, I challenged the imam at the masjid. I will never forget the last pastor that I met um, in this journey of trying to figure things out and I was asking for clarity on different things and I remember I was sitting in front of me literally closed the Bible in front of me and he said God realized he gave us too much instruction in the Old Testament so he said let me give him a little bit of inspiration now so he said why don't you turn to this part of the Bible now <laughs> and subhanAllah that that set off something inside of me and it was a realization was I pursuing from religion inspiration or was I pursuing instruction? I kind of ignored everything he had to say after that. Now I'm not projecting that view on Christians as a whole. I really am not. But that pastor really, really, really sparked something inside of me. I didn't know if I had that sidq tawajjuh ila Allah, that sincere inclination and that sincere pursuit. Was I just looking for inspiration or was I looking for instruction? And I'll tell you why my fear in Islam is that we approach the Quran only looking for inspiration, which is okay to go to the Quran for inspiration. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to look to it for instruction and inspiration, not inspiration divorced of instruction. Those two are not mutually exclusive. And if either one of them is divorced from the other, then your perspective on religion is going to be very, very, very skewed. And my fear is that as we approach the Quran in the 21st century, we basically approach it as quotes.com. Right? I'm going through hardship in my life. So the only ayah in the Quran is in the al-usri yusra. Verily with hardship comes ease. And I'm going to make that into my cover photo and I'm going to post that online. It's not just a Facebook post. It's not just a tweet. When we go to the Quran, when we go to this book, which gives us the purpose of life, we're not going to it to validate our current trends and our current movements and our current inclinations. We're going to it for instruction and for purpose. I don't want to change the Quran to fit what I've already decided is my meaning in life. I want to extract my meaning of life from the Quran. So when we approach the Quran, dear brothers and sisters, always seek the next instruction. And the inspiration and the reward will come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the people of Quran. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who by their love for the Quran will enter the highest level of Jannah al-Firdaus. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.